this will just be like a quick video because I only actually have like two days to make this thing. But yeah, if you enjoy, make sure you subscribe and all that jazz. Uh, thank you. Splash units aren't the hottest of things right now. Baby Dragon is the most popular choice and boasts a large usage rate to be fair, but after that the splashes go down a tad bit cold. Royal Ghost is the second most used splash and only has an 8-9% to usage rate right now. So really, we don't have a ton of good splash options. It's not just down to personal preference really, either. There is a legitimate reason. Now, I know a ton of you are watching this and will be seeing a load of cards like Wizard and Witch on ladder, however that isn't indicative of the metagame. The players running Wizard and Witch are usually casuals. They enjoy running a card, they level it up, and then they have success with it. And like, that's a totally fine thing to do. The stats I'm going to be looking at though are in Grand Challenges, where you'll be facing constructed meta decks for the majority of your games. This is where those rather poor usage rates come from. Now why is there such a disparity? Well, I believe it comes from Supercell's valuation of having a splash effect. In theory, splash attackers can do infinite damage. If 100 billion skeletons are all on the same tile, and a wizard comes along and one-shots them all, then that's insane value for this troop. However, it never really works like that in a real game. Players will tend to separate their swarms in order to prevent this from happening. Also, troop targeting is very basic in this game. A splash troop will hit the closest unit to them, and then maybe hit others if they're within range. This can sometimes cause a splasher to take more damage than necessary, hence lowering their effective HP after this fight. Imagine if the baby dragon just two-shotted all six of those minions and moved on. His HP would be immensely higher for that counter push. It won't ever happen, but I think Supercell should make troops target to the most efficient tile, hitting the most units. The reason it won't happen is because I'm not a games developer, I don't know the quirks of coding and efficiency based attacking, but I would assume that it's possible with enough work put into it. Anyway, this brings us back to the valuation of a splash attack. Where splashes can technically get infinite value, they never really will because they just target whatever's closest to them. This causes Supercell to have to be cautious with their stats, otherwise they could quickly become OP. Let's take a look at the stats of a wizard versus a musketeer right now. Their HP is exactly the same, and their DPS is very similar. The wizard does a little bit more damage but hits slower. This actually helps him in usual interactions because he's able to one-shot minions unlike a musketeer. Anyway, essentially the same stats we can all agree, but the wizard costs one more for his splash effect. That's a 25% nerf musketeer with a splash attack. And now you can see the valuation that Supercell gives to splash. That's a relatively easy example to see because his stats are the same but his elixir is higher. But other troops have this too. I won't go through a ton of examples, but Baby Drag's DPS is lower than most 4-cost cards, and Bomber's health is a bit lower than every 3-cost card. Every splash attacker has a stats nerf somewhere. Again, I think this is a real overvaluation. If you look at really any single target attacker defending a swarm like a Skarmy, they do it just as well on defense as splash units. On offense, well, splashes aren't really efficient there either, and that's where spells come into play. Anyway, that's really it on my splash theory. I think all splash troops could use a mechanic change and then all to be nerfed, but we're pretty deep into the game for that to happen now. Splash is such an underused mechanic and sort of makes spells so important and powerful within the meta game. But hey, that's just how CR works and that's how it'll be forever, but it makes for a nice little video, I guess. Anyway, boys, thank you all for watching this quick video and peace.